Samuel Morris was kidnapped as a teenager in his home country of Liberia. And when his father couldn't pay ransom, he was tortured. One time when he was being whipped, a blinding light flashed and a voice from heaven said, rise up and run. And ran he did. For days until he arrived in a town where he found missionaries and learned about Jesus. He then heard about a pastor in New York that could teach him more. So with no money or means for transportation, he just walked to the harbor, got on a ship. He was beaten again, assigned the most dangerous tasks. However, by the time the ship docked in New York, the captain and most of the crew had accepted Christ because of Samuel. Then he worked at a homeless shelter where, again, he had the toughest men at the mission on their knees praying and asking for God's forgiveness. And after speaking at many churches and praying with others who would later say they'd never felt the Holy Spirit so powerfully as they did when they were with Samuel, his incredible life serving God was cut short when the injuries that he had from the kidnapping in Africa took his life when he was 20. But at his funeral the crowd couldn't be contained in the chapel. They spilled out into the streets all people whose lives were changed by the bold faith of Samuel Morris. Today, 